how we can have twice flowering in the South Africa, in the Southern Hemisphere. Saffron plant is a seasonal plant, it's a seasonal bulb, saffron bulb. It means uh, the, uh, the flowering, the time of the flowering in the Northern Hemisphere completely different from the Southern Hemisphere. For example, here in the UAE, in the Germany, in the Iran, the time of flowering is in the October or November. But in the uh, South Africa, the time of the flowering on May. April or May, the time of the flowering. How we can have twice flowering? We have the we have a trick for having the twice flowering, especially for people that live in the southern hemisphere, like the uh, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand. At the first step, I would like to show you the plan for the South Africa. In the South Africa. In the December and January, the time of the building for the installation of the air handling unit, shelves. In these two months, you should provide the equipment for growing saffron indoors. In the February, you should purchase the bulbs. In South Africa, unlike the Northern Hemisphere, like Europe and Iran and some countries in the Asia, that the time of the purchasing the bulbs in August, but in South Africa, Southern Hemisphere, the time of the purchasing bulbs in the on February, purchasing the bulbs. When you purchase the bulbs on February, in the March, you should put the bulbs under boxes. And in the April, you should control environmental factors. Therefore, in March, you should provide the temperature, control temperature, 25 centigrade, humidity 80%, a light near the 1000 lux and CO2 also 900 ppm. In the April, this April, 20 days before flowering. In this, you should control environmental factors uh, near the temperature 17 centigrade, uh, temperature 17 centigrade, 20 centigrade, 17 to 20 centigrade, and uh, CO2 600 ppm, humidity over 80%. At the end of the April, a sprout when reach to 10 centimeters, you should have to give a cold shocking temperature 10 centigrade during three days or seven days. After that, you should control temperature at the beginning of the May on 17 centigrade, day 10 centigrade at night. Therefore, at the end of May or middle of the May, you will have the flowering. In the May, you should control temperature 17 centigrade day, 10 centigrade night. And flowering started near the uh, three weeks takes time for the flowering. After that, in June, the time of the propagation phase. June, July, August, three months of this in the South Africa is the time of the propagation. In the June, you should add the mix of the sand and the clay and the common yolk to the boxes and then in July the leaves started to the growing leaves 40 centimeters the roots started in this July you should start to the watering in the August in the August uh, we have the maximum of the leaves and the little uh, new bulbs started to the growing in this stage also you should give the water and the fertilizer you should spray fertilizer npk 1284 with the ratio of the 1284 to the spray and after that in the september half of the leaves started to the yellowing half of the yellow and half of the green in this stage critical period for the giving the water each 10 tons each 10,000 kilograms of saffron bulb needs 3,000 cubic meters per month. You should give this amount of the water only in three months after July, August, September. In the October, 100% of the leaves started to the yellowing. In this stage, it doesn't need any fertilizer, any giving the water because the dormancy has been started. And we have the dormancy. Bob doesn't have any activity. When the, all the leaves it started with the yellowing, it doesn't need anything, any fertilizer, because bulb doesn't have activity. In this stage, 
the new bulbs, daughter bulbs will appear so that half of the mother bulbs completely removed and the new bulbs with the white color started to the growing. And in the November, all the leaves will be removed. You cannot see any leaves because via wind, via animals, via in the shelf, you can, you, maybe you, uh, you clean it and the new bulbs automatically separate this. The question is, how we can separate? It doesn't need yourself separate. They are automatically separated on the soil, okay? And in the November, again, bulbs are, the new bulbs are ready, started for, ready for the next stage. Now, how we can do twice flowering? If you have the two room, for example, because in this stage, in the, in the August, let me sh show you, in the August, you have the living, okay? When you have the living in the August, the time of the watering, you can have a two room. When your room, number one room, has started to the living, you can have the second room or the saffron bulbs from the other hemisphere, okay? For example, in the because all bulbs in the southern hemisphere are ready, the the flowering is ready. But in the August, when you have the in this estate, for second room, you can order from the Europe, from the other hemisphere. From the other hemisphere, if you purchase the bulbs in August, you can fill your second room with the other hemisphere. And then, when you August, you purchase the uh, flowering, second room, exactly, it means you live in the northern hemisphere. For example, in the first number, the number one room, that we have this cycle in the number one room. We have this cycle, we have the flowering on May. For the number 22, for the number 22, we have the, uh, we have the flowering on October or November. Number one room, we have the flowering on the May. Number two, we have in the November. You can have it twice flowering in the southern hemisphere.